polyamide versus nylon. What is the difference? If you're curious about the differences between polyamide and nylon, you're not alone. These terms are often used interchangeably, but they aren't exactly the same thing. Let's break it down to understand what sets them apart. First, let's start with the basics. Polyamide is a broad category of polymers that include various types of materials. These polymers are characterized by the presence of amide linkages in their molecular structure. Think of amide linkages like strong bonds that give polyamides their unique properties. Nylon, on the other hand, is a specific type of polyamide. It's like saying nylon is a member of the polyamide family. Nylon is made through a process called condensation polymerization, where monomers like caprolactam or hexamethylnediamine and adipic acid combine to form the polymer chain. One key difference is that polyamides can be either natural or synthetic, while nylon is always synthetic. For instance, silk is a natural polyamide, but nylon is entirely man-made. When it comes to moisture resistance, nylon has an edge. It's highly resistant to moisture and rain, making it great for applications like fishing lines, rain gear, and even carpets. Polyamides, while still somewhat hydrophobic, are not as resistant to moisture as nylon. The chemical structure of nylon is highly polar and symmetrical, which means its molecules have a balanced arrangement of positive and negative charges. This structure contributes to nylon's durability and resistance to deformation. Polyamides, however, can have varying molecular structures depending on the specific type. Nylon is widely used in various industries due to its excellent mechanical properties. You will find nylon in products like airbags, seed belts, parachutes, and even clothing like lingerie and swimwear. It's also used in machine parts, electrical insulation, and more. High-strength polyamides, such as Kevlar, are different from standard nylons. Kevlar has a much higher tensile strength and is often used in applications requiring exceptional strength and heat resistance, like body armor and high-performance tires. In terms of flexibility, nylon generally offers better flexibility than some of the high-strength polyamides. This makes nylon a good choice for components that need to bend or stretch without breaking. When choosing between polyamide and nylon, it comes down to your specific needs. If you need a material that is affordable, easy to process, and has a good balance of properties, nylon might be the way to go. However, if you need something with exceptional strength, stiffness, and heat resistance, a high-strength polyamide like Kevlar could be more suitable. In summary, while polyamide and nylon share many similarities, they are not the same. Understanding these differences can help you make the right choice for your specific application, whether it's for manufacturing, 3D printing, or any other use.